I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers who participated actively on the community poll. The question posted on August 5th, that is yesterday, was square root of a number is smaller than the number. Is this statement true or false? Explain. So basically, the question is, we have square root of a number, and we want to say that this is less than x. And we gave you three options. One is true. Second, false. And third was, need help. Now, can you tell me what is the correct answer? Square root of a number is less than the number. Is this statement true or not? Well, here is a poll. In the first five hours, we got a great response. And the result was that 80% say that this statement is true. So the statement which you are talking about is square root of a number is less than the number itself. 15% say that it is false. We also need to explain the result. 5% need help. As far as the explanation is concerned, one explanation was that square root of 1 is 1. That tells you that square root of x, a number when x is equal to 1, is actually equal to x if x is equal to 1. And that means the statement is false. So, so that is the best answer we got on this particular poll. 15% which say that the statement is false, is correct. However, still, the explanation is not good enough. So, what I'm trying to say is that correct answer is false. However, no one provided the correct explanation. You know why? Because if you modify the question, let's look at in a different way. Can the square root of a number be greater than the number itself? Do you understand? We are looking into the question that square root of the number is less than x, correct? Now the question is, can square root of a number be greater than x? What do you think now? Is this statement true or false? Can this be greater than this? There is a difference in the initial question, which is this statement is true, it means always, right? Now, here we say, can this be greater than this? Means, even if there is one example, in that case, think like this and then you answer the poll. So, let us get back to the question itself and see. So, we wanted to say the question here is that square root of x is less than x, correct? Which is square root of a number is smaller than the number. We are saying that this statement is false. Reason. given by one of our subscriber is that square root of 1 is equal to 1. We could say square root of 0 is also equal to 0. 
that means it, when x equals to 0 or 1 in that case square root of x is equal to x correct that is what you went, want to say right now tell me this what is square root of 0 0.1 what is square root of 0 0.1 you will find that this is greater than 0 0.1 correct also think about what is square root of 1 by 4 Square root of 1 by 4 is half. Correct? The square root of 1 by 4 is half. And we know that half is greater than 1 by 4. So, do you see that the statement is false and the reason is not only for equal to, but there are cases that it can be greater than also. Correct? So, let us get back to the question. We say that it is false since square root of x can be equal or even greater than x. Do you see that? Example, check with x equals to 1, 0, how about 1 by 4? You get the idea. And the question for you now is, what is square root of 0 0.1? Can you put that in comments? What is square root of 0 0.1? Anyway, I think you found this question interesting and useful and you got the concept of square root can be greater than the number itself, especially when we take numbers less than 1. You get the idea, right? So, if, let me summarize this here. Pull the page a bit top. If x is absolute value of x i should write like this if x is greater than 0 or equal to 0 but it is less than or equal to 1 then square root of x is greater than equal to x. You see that? So, this is the most important statement which to take from this particular question. I hope that helps. Thanks for taking interest in these questions. You can also post your questions and suggestions. Thanks for your time and all the best. We regularly teach students we have individual and group classes. Topics considered are many. Some of them are listed here. We do follow the programs in Europe, America and Canada. You can get prepared for any competitive exam like SAT and Olympiad. To join our courses, you can send an email on the address given. Enjoy learning and be successful. Thank you and have a great day.